Hey everybody, Jake here, and today I'm just going to go over what I look for when I go to purchase a knife. So let's go ahead and get started. I have a, a few examples here that I'm going to pull out. Um, first up we have the Spidey Chef, which is a very recent favorite of mine. Really, really falling in love with this knife so far. The Millet Torrent, which is my highest end knife, and I'll go over the reasons why I purchased it. And then um, another one of my current favorite EDCs, this is the um, Bogart Urban Trapper Petite. So let me go ahead and discuss, you know, why I got these. So the first thing I look for when I'm interested in a knife is uh, the design. So usually it's an eye-catching, interesting design or something that I find this kind of a, a bit simplistic but with some, some niceties to it. Um, next up, apart from the initial eye-catching thing, it's going to be uh, a few things. Number one, is it thin? Uh, the thinner the better as far as my pocket is concerned the, for example the spidey chef here is very very thin extremely thin um here i'll compare it real quick to the leatherman skeletal so you can see very very thin knife um it's it's very very light which i also look for it has a really good action another one of the things i look for and it's it's very nice to carry it's very pleasant to use. That's extremely, extremely important when I'm looking at stuff like this. It has to be very, very easy to put into my pocket and to carry with me all day. Because let's be honest, you're carrying your knife more than you're using it for most people. So the better it disappears in the pocket, the more I'm going to like it. Same thing goes for this one. This knife is very thin again, but it's also very, very small and very, very light. Still has a good action and there's a lot of subtle nice touches that um, really appeal to me in knives like this as well. Um, uh, one detail I like for is crowning on the spine. I really really like that where it, the spine is rounded a bit. I don't know, it's just something that I like. The materials are very very nice in this. You know, Carbon fiber, titanium. I'm a big fan of titanium. Carbon fiber not so much, but titanium is a very interesting material. I like the way it feels and I like the things you can do with it. So for example, the Millet Torrent. I really like the design of this knife, but I spiced it up a bit and made it a bit more interesting to me, and it's it's one that I really, really love now. So the materials play a big part, design plays a big part, carryability plays a big part, as well as the the action um, to, to a very good degree as well. Now, what the knife's running on doesn't matter so much to me. I generally prefer to avoid nylon, teflon, plastic washers. The action's not great. But for example, this run here, this in, this knife here runs on phosphor bronze. Great action, really, not, really, really nice. It's more of a um, like a hydraulic action than um, bearings, so it's not gonna you know really drop close. But it's very, very nice. On the other hand, this knife is on bearings, and it very certainly will drop close. It's very, very smooth. So I appreciate both of those things. I tend to avoid the plastic or nylon washers but bearings or phosphor bronze you know I, you really can't go wrong with those <clears throat> another thing I look for and this is especially true in the Spidey Chef is the blade shape so I mentioned I like interesting design a big part of the Spidey Chef is that blade shape it's kind of a sort of a sheep's footish blade <laughs> um, I'm not sure exactly what you'd call it but it's very good for the utility um, that it's going for and there's just a lot of little details in this knife that are that make it really really excellent but the biggest one's probably the blade blade shape matters stock thickness matters this knife the blade stock is very very thin and it has a really really good grind so you know, stock thickness blade shape grind I look at all of that the steel type also very important not nearly as important as you know some other things but it's something that I look for this one here is LC 200 n great steel uh, the millet torrent CTS XHB and glad I almost cut my finger open but this knife isn't that sharp um, I need to get sharpened up <clears throat> but again very nice blade shape I really like the, the swedge right here the little drop off little details just the kind of the milling on the on the spine work is very very nice on here but it's a good blade shape hollow grind I really like I prefer hollow grind if I can get it full flat grind isn't bad but Hollow is one of my personal favorites, and for, for blade seal again, CTS XHP on that, which is a pretty good seal. 
This one isn't really killing in the steel department, but it's a good blade. So this one is, um, I believe it's just a flat grind, but the blade stock is so thin on this, it's crazy. Um, just to give you a bit of an example here, the blade stock on the Millet Torrent is exactly thick, but it's about twice as thick as this Boker Urban Trapper Petite. And this knife is really, really good at small slicing tasks, which is one of the reasons I like it. The blade on all three of these is really, really good. Next up, the clip. Clip is crucial. Along with the thinness and lightness of the knife, the clip is a very big determining factor in how the knife is going to carry for you. One of my personal favorite clips is the Spyderco wire clip. It is deep carry. Um, if, I, if it were me, I'd probably move this clip on this particular knife up a little bit, but it's fine. But it's got good spring. It's very minimal looking. It doesn't attract too much attention. And it's deep carry. Now, just because it is deep carry and it doesn't attract tension doesn't mean that that's all I look for. Um, tension's very important. Flow with the design is very, very important. So for example, this one here on the Millet Torrent, this is the opposite. This is not deep carry. This is very flashy. But it's one of those things where there's a lot of little details, like the cutout here on the clip matches the cutout on the blade, and you know the, the striping matches the striping on the backspacer and the uh, overlay. Little stuff like that. Love the clip on this one too. Um, this clip here, I like it quite a bit. There's a few things I don't like. I generally prefer thinner clips, I will say that. And this one is fine up here, but as it gets towards the bottom where it widens out, I'm not a big fan. But this one's got really good tension. It's deep carry. This is a fantastic, fantastic clip. So clips are a very big determining factor. I prefer um, tip up if possible, just for ergonomic reasons. It's just better for me. Some people may disagree. But those are the things that I look for in a clip. Last thing is build quality. I do not want a knife that is poorly built. I actually just dealt with one of those in this here. This is the Fulcrum Knives Eclipse. And I did an entire rant about this knife because it's very poorly done. Um, that's all I'm going to say. I'm going to leave it at that. But that's not what I look for in an everyday carry piece that, I, that I'm going to enjoy. Um, Fit and finish on the Boker, pretty good. Um, there's a few things that I have problems with on this knife, but overall it's really good fit and finish. Um, not really any sharp corners or anything like that. Pretty good tolerances all around. There's no blade play or anything like that. It's it's just it's very well built. However, we'll say out on the table this is the least well built. Go up here to the Spyderco. Spyderco is great. Um, there was a little lock stick on this knife, which is normal for these. There's no cut corners. The fit and finish are really good. There's a lot of little details in there. For example, these little cutouts here at the handle that allow for a kind of a pinch grip when you're cutting. It's fantastic. The blade finish isn't super, super nice, but it, it's serviceable. I actually really like the blade finish on the Urban Trapper. But the fit and finish is really, really good on this knife. I apologize, it's a little beat up. But everything's very, very nice. There's no gaps or anything where there shouldn't be. Now, granted, this one's very simplistic, but everything works exactly as it should. And that's what I look for. Now, if we're talking about fit and finish, for real, this is where the Millet Torrent really shines. There's so much machining in this knife. It's not even funny. You can see all the little grooves there. And the machining work is it's crazy on this knife. It's really, really expertly done. They really outdid themselves with this. The, the work on it is fantastic even looking on the inside here you can see very clean there's no sharp corners or anything like that everything fits together perfectly this is a great 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 example of fit and finish everything on this knife was at least to me it seems like it was a hundred percent intentional and that's the biggest thing the intentionality of it is it designed well is it designed for a good carry? Is the blade designed to cut? If it's if I hate carrying it, it's not well built, and the blade doesn't cut, I'm gonna hate the knife. So there's there's different things that I look for, you know. If I had to pick one of these, or you know, one category for each of these, this one's amazingly built. It excels above and beyond anything that I have in my collection. This one cuts amazing. The 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 Spidey Chef just slices perfectly. It's my favorite knife for cutting that I've ever used. 
And as far as carry, absolutely nothing that I own can beat this Urban Trapper Petite. It disappears, I forget I have it until I need a knife. And it's those things that I look for personally. So it was, it was kind of, it was nice to make out a list and um, kind of write down, you know, what I look for because I'm thinking these things a lot, but I've never sat down and wrote it out. So I encourage you to do the same thing. You know, let me know what you like. You may prefer, you know, thicker knives because they're more ergonomic. Um, especially if you use your knife all the day, you may prefer a tip down carry. If you're a heathen, um, you may prefer a really thick blade stock if you really beat on your knife. Things like that. So. Just because this is the stuff that I look for, that does not at all mean that that's what you should be looking for as well. Unless you really like the knives that I like, and then, you know, I might give you a starting point. But maybe sit down and think about what you're really looking for in a knife. That has really helped me pare down my collection and really kind of zone in on, on what I'm looking for. So I hope everyone enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to let me know. I also did a video um, in this exact same style on fountain pens, so check that out. If it isn't already posted, it will be posted tomorrow. Uh, definitely keep an eye out for that, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thanks, guys. Bye.